Hello everyone, today I'll be showcasing my Despia deck profile that I've been playing at my locals. Uh, big events like TCG Con Tampa, the YCS this past weekend, and soon to be TCG Con Louisville. For the uh, past month or so, picking up this deck has been so much fun. Uh, I've been doing a lot of playtesting, going to locals three times a week to figure out what is the correct build and ratios for this deck before we get the amazing new support from the Albest Structure deck. Uh, but the deck is super good right now, even before we get the structure deck. I will say, when playing at locals, I hate facing the adventurer engine. It has been the most annoying thing to deal with. But I usually win out, or I top. So this is a very consistent build, and I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, I was going to do an in-person deck profile of this deck, but my camera quality for showing the cards isn't as good as I thought it was. So, let's get right at it. We're playing 3 Allure, the Jester of Despia, because he's the best card in the deck. He searches any branded spell or trap, and he'll be searching branded fusion a lot in the future. His second effect is nice too, targeting a monster on the opponent's side of the field and negating their effects and summoning. Synergizes well with this field spell, and helps us body block our opponent during the battle phase. Next, we play Tragedy our monster searcher of the deck. Most people play this at three, I play it at two. I've made this deck so consistent at searching the Despian monsters that I run out of targets with three in the deck. So two has been working working out really well. It's also nice to resolve Tragedy's second effect in Grave when I need follow-up. Usually grabbing the field spell or branded in red for the next turn plays. And then we have Burst of Destiny's release of Ad Libitum of Despia, which is arguably the best utility monster card in the deck, being able to bring back a Despia or fusion monster from the graveyard or banished when used as fusion material? I really thought hard about playing this card at 2, just for the recursion. His first effect is also neat. It boosts the attack of all monsters on the field, but that's also a double-edged sword. Because all the monsters in the field get a boost if they have a level, including my opponents. It says all. Then we have Dramaturge. Our big boss, main deck monster with 3000 attack and a negate. A monster negate on field when an extra deck type monster hits the field, whether it be from extra deck or if it comes back from graveyard. I'm looking at you, DPE. Also, this card will summon itself out if it was banished or sent to the grave as fusion material. It just makes this such a good monster card. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about Despian Comedy, who takes up our 8th Despian slot and 3rd copy of Tragedy. This card's first effect is insanely good to be able to protect monsters from being targeted or even better, for protecting the field spell from getting Cosmic Cycloned away. Comedy protect, protects all Despia cards from being targeted, not just the monsters. Its second effect I think is unique as well, and I questioned why I ever use its effect. I didn't ever see a situation, but then I realized it's the tribute for cost a fusion monster I had on board to dodge dangerous interactions like IDP's Banishment or Torrential Tribute. Maybe in the best case scenario, I get evenly matched and I need to clear my board of the more important cards, which comes in handy because everyone side deck, everyone sideboarding evenly matched this format. Now let's talk about the spells. Despia the Theater of the Brand is our awesome built-in polymerization and fusion monster reborn tool card. So we play this set too at being a fusion deck. When a face-up non-fusion fairy monster leaves the field by any means necessary, I can just target a level 8 fusion or higher monster graveyard and special summon it back. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. I really do not want to play this card at 1 in case that it does get cycloned away and I'll have no way of bringing it back. So I play that too. Branded opening is our best spell currently. And a quick play in the deck. Currently, which has mad synergy with a couple cards in our deck because the discard is not for cost, letting us get rid of tragedy 
and activating its effect on the new chain. Opening allows us to add or summon a Despia monster. Our main target, depending on our hand, is usually a Luber. So we can get a Luber's effect off in the draw phase. So at the start of the match, we go draw phase, activate branded opening, pitch tragedy, summon a Luber. We're dodging Baylor right there, which is super good. But when playing against Sword Soul, we got to do this in the main phase. So Baronet the Fleur does not get her effect in the standby phase and get a free switch to Cheese out. It was a big mess up of mine during the YCS. Opening also has a great secondary effect of banishing itself instead of your fusion monsters on the field dying to card effects like Torrential or Lightning Storm or Regeki. It's non-activating, so they can't respond to it, which is an awesome card. It also has awesome synergy with instant fusion, protecting our instant fusion targets for a turn. Just remember, you can only use you can only special summon fusion monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn after you use this card. And it resolves. Then we have Brandon in Red, which is a terrific support given to us in Burst of Destiny. Being a quick play spell card helps you to avoid anti spell fragrance or something that targets a card on the field. That quick play, so good. So good at dodging things. Because you get locked out. They uh, activate, let's say uh, you go to uh, standby phase and they go deep barrier fusion. You activate branded red, target tragedy, target a, a Despia monster in grave, and then add the hand and fusion right there, right before deep barrier goes off. It's, yeah, it's, it's a very good, I, I enjoy the fact that a lot of these spell cards are quick place. Uh, you can also Add back a resource if you're underneath Lancia and you have something for the next turn. But we use Brandon and Red usually on the follow-up turn to make Chimera to pop two things on their board or draw two. But let's move on to the extenders and extra packages in this deck now. We've got the Fusion Destiny package. We play two Malicious, one Denier, and two Fusion Destiny because it got limited. We would be playing three in here. But Fusion Destiny is also a starter in here. This card single-handedly makes Chimera for us on turn two. So if our hand wasn't good enough and we resolve Fusion Destiny, we have plays for the next turn and follow up for turn three. Next after that, we have the Fright Fur package, which consists of three Edge Imp, two Patchwork, two Poly. I feel like these ratios are the best because I'd rather have monster material than three patchwork in hand. With the monster material, I'm able to, you know, make more of the extra deck monsters. So that's that's where I feel like the ratios are, are pretty good here. It adds us poly, which helps us protect Chimera from being targeted. And I think, I think that's pretty good. Edge jump when it's sent, it adds fright for patchwork. Fright for Patchwork, then in turn adds an Edge Imp and a Poly. So who wouldn't want to add two cards? After that, we have our Super Poly. Super Poly in this deck is so good because all our Despian Fusion monsters require a light or dark monster. We also like to break boards and we do not like to get Scythe locked immediately. Fusing our opponent's DPE plus a dark monster to make one of our Super Poly targets? Oh, it's such a great card. I'm glad it exists. And I'm super happy my opponent can't respond with a 3 plus Omni Negate board. <laughs> then we can get to our Honorary Despria cards <laughs> Foolish Burial and Gold Sark. We send Tragedy 99% of the time. And then we get a free ad. It's a great way to start combo. The only other targets we foolish are the Destiny Heroes monsters and maybe comedy, depending on the matchup or where we're at in the match. Next, we have our cards that let us play through hand traps, the obvious being Called by the Grave, Stop, Ash, Failure, etc. And then we got Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion grabs us two of the two targets in our extra deck, one of them being Millennium Eyes Restrict, or the other one being Mud Dragon in the Swamp. We'll talk about those a little later. Uh, branded Opening and Instant Fusion have a nice little uh, interaction. 
Uh, I can keep a instant fusion target on the field for a turn longer by banishing opening at the end phase to protect it. And then we got our six extra, we got our six hand trap slots, which right now I'm playing Ash and Valor or you know, Ash Valor or Imperm. I'm playing Ash and Imperm. Valor would be good here. I just don't like the fact that it only works on the opponent's phase and not my turn. There might be a board where I need to imperm something, or if I need to set for column negation, say they have like an anti-spell fragrance in the column. Uh, I think imperm is better than Valor here, so I'll, I'll continue using this trap card. Uh, Ash, Ash hits everything. It it, it hurts a lot of de a lot of interactions, um, depending on what you go on. So we got a pretty good sideboard. We don't have to worry about. Uh, Let's go into the extra deck. The extra deck is uh, Despia Skinion as our starter big boss monster. He's a great super poly target in some matchups, and he lets us steal or banish our opponent's extra deck monsters in the grave during the main phase. It's a quick effect, which is great as mess. Also, he's great for OTKing with his Flame Wingman style effect. Burning our opponent for whatever is higher, the attack or defense of the monster he kills. Oh, it's so good. Then we have two Quarities, whose quick effect alone stops people from breaking our board unless they control a level 8 or higher fusion monster. He makes all the monsters on the field go to zero attack. And if he leaves the field via card effect, he summons a Despia monster for free, or he lets us add it to our hand for follow-up. Next up is our two Masquerade, the Blazing Dragon, who's not actually a dragon, but a fiend. Uh, I'm getting those Charizard vibes. He helps us burn our opponent for doing too much or to win in game threes. And if he leaves the field, he can just quick effect come back when my opponent controls an extra deck style monster. But he'll banish himself when he leaves. We don't play Masquer Masquerade Turbo in here, so he's not at three. Then we have our honorary Despia Fusion Monsters. Guardian Chimera. Oh, such an insane card to come out of Battle of Chaos. He lets us draw cards equal to the number of materials used in my hand for the fusion summon, or destroy cards equal to the materials used on the field. The only thing I wish this card said was up to for the destroy part. Because it has to be equal to, or else you don't get the effects. You don't get the pops. You can't pop two things if you use two two monsters in the field and they have one card. Because it has to be your opponent's card. So I wish it said up to here, but in general, this card's awesome. With 3,300 attack and defense, it's super good at climbing over big mo boss monsters. It also can't be targeted if Polly is in the graveyard, which generally is when we play the Fright for Package. Still... An insanely good card for the deck, and I love comboing with it off of Fusion Destiny and Brandon in Red. Then we have the first Dark Lord. Our strongest monster towering at 4k attack, 4k defense. Insane synergy with all our Dark Fairy Despia monsters. Oh, my allergies are kicking in bad, so I apologize for the voice cracks. Ha ha ha. This card, the first Dark Lord does not let fairies on the field be targeted by effects. And we can pay 1,000 life points per turn in the main phase as a quick effect to summon a fairy non-targeting from the grave. So we can summon back a Luber on the same turn we poly in hand to get the effects of a Luber to add, or we can do it on the opponent's turn to add another card for follow-up. We can also bring back Adlib and use Adlib's effect to boost Dark Lord to 5200 attack to clear the big bodies on the board. Overall, great card. Now, our Fusion Destiny targets Destiny Hero Destroyer, Phoenix Enforcer, and Destiny Hero Dangerous. Uh, we usually make DP uh, with Polymerization. If not, we can Fusion Destiny it at the end of the turn. If our hand was really good, we just summon them straight out. If not, we go into Dangerous. Destiny Hero Dangerous. 
Let's Fusion Destiny become a one card combo to make Chimera on our opponent's turn. We usually send Tragedy and Malicious to Graveyard depending on our hand. Tragedy will then search and search as a Luber. A Luber will search the Branded Red, will summon the Malicious and Dangerous on the field, set the Branded Red, and pass turn if we don't have Polymerization to go for it. DPE. Then we got our Super Poly targets. Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Who can also be instant fusioned because it's level 5 or lower. This lets our cards not be targeted by opponent card effects. It's also a quick effect for that. You can just change the attribute at any point in time. This card is also good if you run into Plunder Patrol because then they can't target their own cards to summon from the extra deck. So you just stop them from even playing and they sit there going, oh no, our table, it's broken. We also have Drago Stapelia, which is super good in this format. Usually our go-to super poly target to stop the Scythe Lock. Also has a great quick effect of stopping all level two or higher monsters from using their activated effects in the field by placing a Predator Plant counter on them. We also got Starving Fusion Venom Dragon, which needless to say is a pretty standard card. You just need two darks on the field. Has a good effect. Can copy effect of an opponent's monster on your turn. If it dies, it Raigeki's the board of all special summon monsters. Next we have Millenniumize Restrict, which is our main instant fusion target. Uh, as we said before, this uh, card protects us from hand traps, monster effect hand traps. And if we save it with opening, we have a monster effect negate on our opponent's turn. And we can just take a monster from the graveyard when they activate an effect. Finally, we have the two link monsters. We can go into relinquish anima if we brick really badly. If all we have in hand is tragedy or comedy, we can just link them away. And we have Brandon Red in hand. We can we can summon Tragedy or Comedy, link them away, send them to the graveyard, set a Brandon in Red, make Anna make Anima out of the two of them, out of one of them. And on our opponent's turn, we use Brandon in Red and combo off because now we have a Dark Monster and a Tragedy. We can make a Masquerade or a Corotis for follow up, uh, or if we have like a Malicious in hand, we can go straight into Chimera for two draws and a pop. Next we have Dark. Such a good card to come out of Battle of Chaos. Everyone's playing DPE. Uh, it's also a monster search. Uh, if this card's destroyed, it'll search us a Luber, Dramaturge, Comedy, or Tragedy from the deck. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. That concludes the main deck. It's a 40 card main deck. Uh, our side deck is, you know, it's always dependent on what the meta or what your locals are. But uh, three Lancia, because we don't like playing against PK or, or the Adventure Package. Droll, Droll hits Fluanderies. Lancia hits Fluanderies. PK, the Adventure Package. Nibiru, if we run into, let's say, Prank Kids. Uh, Dragon Link, Heroes. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone for those trap decks. We do not want to see Skill Drain against us. That's a, it's a very fun interaction right there. In all seriousness, I love that Skill Drain's at three. But we play Cosmic Cyclone to out those cards. And then we play three for Ben Droplet in the side. This card's pretty good. Behind a paywall right now. I've got three copies in person, but... We don't want to send Tragedy off of this because Tragedy won't get its effect unless it's sent off a card effect. It can't be sent off a cost. So don't send it off of Droplet and don't send it off a of Dangerous. Uh, if you have any questions uh, about the, uh, the deck and the choices, leave me a comment. Or if you enjoy this video, leave me a like and a sub and I'll continue to make videos because there isn't enough Despia content. And there's nothing up to date right now on YouTube. Uh, I will do a uh, in-person test hand and combo walkthrough video on the next video coming up. Maybe after maybe two more uh, dueling book replays. And uh, I, I hope you'll enjoy it. 
I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you for tuning in.